In all my previous videos, I showed you how to power my Arduino projects and LED projects with DC. But today I'm going to show you how to do it with AC and even DCC track power. So let's get going now. Hi, I'm Tom Kovicek. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use AC power and even DCC track power to operate your Arduino. All of my older videos, I showed you how to use either a computer power supply or a wall ward or something else just to operate your Arduino. Uh, on this one, we're going to use a Pro Mini. Arduino does not make the Pro Mini anymore they retired it but you can get it through other manufacturers i think you can get it through spark fun and there's a lot of different places on ebay that has them where you can get them for maybe about a dollar or two a piece they usually come in stamped together this one was stamped together with three of them i just pulled one off of there for that and a couple of other components and I would like to thank Lawrence Eggering basically for, you know, just slapping me on the back of my head, uh, reminding me of things that I can do that were sitting right in front of me that I really ignored this whole time. The only time that I showed you how to use your uh, power pack for a project was when I was using a voltage regulator where I use this and drop down the voltage to five volts so you could operate your Arduino. Now let me show you what I've used before. I use this little converter right here and this is quite large and it's got a display and everything so it's got all the bells and whistles on it but this is going to cost you about 50 bucks. You put your AC in here from your power supply and you could dial in whatever it whatever voltage you need for your DC power. This is a good choice if you want to spend the money with it. But for just a couple of bucks, I have a couple of other components. I've been using this converter right here on all my other projects. They were about maybe uh, $2 or maybe $3 a piece. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but it came in a block of five of them and it might have been 10 bucks or 12 bucks for it. Lawrence Eggering sent me a Facebook message uh, a couple of months ago and told me about this right here that he picked up on eBay for four ninety five shipping included for ten of them. It's one and a half amp converter, and you could go anywhere from one volt to I think uh, uh, it's up to thirty volts. In addition to that, you could use a bridge rectifier, which I have here. I bought a bunch of them from DigiKeys, and you can get. And I found them on eBay also, but you could also get them on eBay. Uh, for about again 495 for 10 of them I think it might be the same vendor and I'll put the uh, link in the description but this is a a, uh, a one amp uh, bridge rectifier I have some older ones that are two amp bridge rectifier it's a 2w10 uh, I prefer the square ones other over the round ones here because you have to cross your wires on here for the AC and the DC as you can see on here your AC is on one side and your DC is on the other side so it's kind of hard to do it in the wiring I made up a little board right here I put the bridge rectifier on there I put the uh, uh, voltage regulator on there and I put some standoffs on here for the pro mini I got some uh, uh, sip resistor in here uh, uh, 10 10 position sip resistor uh, this is 1k and I put I also put this on a standoff too so I could if I need to I could pull it out and change the resistance on it right now I only have three uh, LEDs hooked up to it and I and what I did was I loaded the sketch on there for the campfire on this pro mini so basically all you have to do is push this in there and here you have maybe altogether five dollars worth of components 
where you could use DCC track power or AC power to do your Arduino projects. Now I'm just doing a simple Arduino project right here with three LEDs. I added an electrolytic capacitor to the end of the bridge rectifier here to smooth out the DC signal. Uh, I assumed that there was a capacitor. I thought this was a capacitor right here, but apparently it is not. I was having some trouble adjusting the voltage on it until I put the capacitor in there. So basically you have the uh, bridge rectifier, you have electrolytic capacitor, you have your voltage regulator, and then you have your Pro Mini on here with the SIP resistors underneath there. So that's it. Adds another couple of cents to the project. So let me get this all hooked up and I'll show you uh, what I'm talking about here. I'm going to hook this up first to a wall wart. It's a 12 volt AC, you can see 12 volt AC 600 milliamp. And we'll just plug this in over here, turn the power on, and you can see this is the uh, the output on the uh, on the board right here. I took the uh, Pro Mini off of there, but you can see I got 4.9, approximately 4.98 volts on there with that. I now have it hooked up to the DCC command station. I have this up on the bench right now because it's easier to do it like this than to bring all the cameras and everything out on the layout. So let me apply power to the Digitrax. I have it in a run mode. Put power here and right there and approximately 5.15 volts. I now have it hooked up to a Tech 2 transformer and then as you can see on the back of here I have it on the AC terminals on there that are marked for accessories. Let me turn the power on. And I come up with about 4.9 volts. Now, your voltage, depending on what you're going to be using it on, you could, you could adjust it on this screw right here, which is very sensitive. I'm not going to do it right now because it's close enough. I'm going to shut this off right now, take this meter off of here, and put the Pro Mini in the socket and then turn the power back on and you can see there is the campfire sketch on there right now so this is with the with the AC terminals on a DC transformer right now I have it hooked up to the wall wart let me apply the power to it and there you go there's your flame your campfire simulation for your Arduino now we have it hooked up to the command station and you don't have to hook it directly up to your command station. You could run it off your feeders, off your track power, uh, underneath your layout. Uh, here you go. There's the track power right there. And there's your sketch running. So as easy as that, less than $5 for all of this right here. And you could see that you could use it on your DCC track power. You could use a DC or an AC wall wart. You could even use a DC wall wart on there. And you could use the terminals on your DC power pack, the AC terminals on it, to run your projects, your Arduino projects, and even your LED projects. LEDs are only 20 milliamps a piece at the highest brightness. So even if you have 10 of them, that's only 200 milliamps, and that's well within the range of this component right here. The voltage regulator is one and a half amps. The bridge rectifier is one amp. And this will, the, your Pro Mini will take up, up to 40 milliamps per pin on each one of the pins on there. So you're well within your range on there. Um, even if you don't use an Arduino product on there, you could use your 5 volt directly to run your LEDs if you just want to keep your LED solid. But I'm using the uh, Pro Mini on there just to show you that you could use it in a sketch. And I used one of the simple sketches with only three LEDs on it. And this will last forever. Um, I had this on earlier today for about an hour uh, and it ran flawlessly 
So there you have it. You have multiple power sources that you could use for your Arduino project. Uh, DCC power, uh, AC power from a wall wart, AC power on your uh, power supply, DC power supply if you're running your DC trains, and you could even use it on a DC wall wart. So you could even use it on a DC power supply. So you have unlimited amounts of places where you could hook up your sketch, your Arduino, your LEDs for your projects on your model railroad. No matter where, what power you have, you could uh, always convert it over like this with these components right here. So, until the next time, we'll see you.